Hi, in the previous video, we set up our development environment and created our first Angular project. In this video, we're going to add Bootstrap to our project. Bootstrap is one of the most popular styling frameworks. Let's look at the steps to install Bootstrap in Angular. First of all, let's look at the documentation. If you Google Bootstrap, the very first link is going to be our official Bootstrap website. We're going to be looking at the latest version, version 5, but if you want to look at the older version, you can click on this menu and you can choose one of the previous versions. Let's go to documentation and let's search for a button. Let's click on examples. Let's grab one of the buttons and paste it into our project. I'm going to make some space and paste what we have. Let's run our project. I'm going to type ngserve-all and press enter. As you can see right now, our button is not being displayed. The reason for that, we didn't save our changes. So I'm going to press Ctrl S. And here's our button, but it doesn't look anything like the button in the Bootstrap documentation. The reason for that, because Bootstrap is not installed inside our project. So let's install it. I'm going to stop the project and I'm going to press Ctrl C. And the command that I'm going to use, npm, and we talked in the previous video, it's node package manager. And then next is going to be install. And here I just need to type Bootstrap. If you want to install an older version, you need to add add and the number of the version. But since we are installing the latest version, we won't do that. So I'm going to press enter. To see what was installed, we need to go to our explorer and go to this node modules. And I'm going to just press control F and type bootstrap. And here the folder that was installed. And if I go inside, I can see the distribution folder and inside CSS. And here I have a bunch of files. And I need to create a reference to this bootstrap min CSS file. Let me expand the VS code window. So the easiest way to find the path to this is to right click on it and choose copy path. And I'm going to copy it in a notepad. I'm going to paste it here. And we don't need the whole string, we just need the string starting with this node modules. Let me copy it. Control C. I'm going to minimize it and I'm going to close this. And now I need to go and open this Angular JSON file. So I'm going to click on it and, and I need to add the reference in this style section. Now be careful, there are two style sections in the beginning, in the main section, and in the test section, right here. So it happened to me in the past, I include my reference in the wrong section and the bootstrap was not working. It took me a while to figure out what happened. So make sure you go to the very first one and what we're going to do, we're going to make space, quotation marks, and we're going to paste it. We're going to put comma here and we need to remove all backslashes and and replace them with forward slashes. Let me save it, control S and I'm going to run the application again. So with my arrows, I'm going to find the command and gsurf open. And as you can see, my button is now styled using the bootstrap classes. Let me add some margin to the button. I'm going to just type here M2, Control S, save. And now we can see our button a little better. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.